This is my virtual tour of San Fernando Rey de Espana mission. To get there, you take the El Camino Real or the King's Highway. The El Camino Real connected all the missions of California together. The San Fernando mission was built inland among the coast so that travelers could avoid the Santa Monica Mountains on their way to Santa Barbara. The San Fernando location was chosen because there was a good supply of water from a large well. This is a convertible, a uniquely designed building that served as a hospice. It contained 19 arches and was home to travelers and guests adventuring the El Camino Real. It is an favorite attraction for tourists to the mission. The rooms were very simple, a bed, a chair, and a Bible. Across the street is a fountain for cooling off on a real tour. As we explore the mission, we see the center was a patio. As you can see, San Fernando Rey de Espana's buildings were in a quadrangle, as were most of the missions. The Padres and the Native Americans raised cattle, sheep, pigs, and chickens. We also introduced dogs and cats to California. This is the workshop. There, at this workshop, there are blacksmiths, tanneries, and wineries built under the workshop. This is the church where Padres tried to convert the local Native Americans to Catholicism. As the missions fell into disrepair, gold was found nearby. This finding created myths that caused people to dig up the missions' walls and floor in order to find gold hidden in them. Later, San Fernando Radius Fan was restored by people raising money by selling mission candles at one dollar a piece. Native Americans had a busy day at the mission. They worked until midday. Then they did prayers. Afterwards, they had the noon meal. It was a thick soup called gazelle. Then more work after him. The day ended with more prayers and dinner. The church bell was a signal for everyone to get up, attend church, break for meals, and other things. It was a long day for the people at the mission, but for us, it's the end of this tour.